Welcome to another episode of Potion Sword Run, where I talk about anything and everything about video games. I'm Original Seed, and today I'll be talking to you about the PlayStation 5. I'll be talking to you about the production troubles that it seems to be having, and the rumored price drop, even though the system will be announced tomorrow, and how this will all benefit Xbox in the end. Now, yesterday night, it was reported from Bloomberg that the PlayStation 5 is having production issues. It turns out that the yield for the chip is less than 50% at the time. Now, it is improving, but still, they had to recalculate their forecast by about 35%. They were originally going to come out with about 15 million PlayStation 5s this season, this holiday season, but instead they came back down to about 10 million. So that's about 5 million PlayStations that are not going to be manufactured for people to buy. Now, it was also reported that the PlayStation 5 should be retailing at about $399 for the digital edition and $450 for the disc edition. Now, that is $50 less than the Xbox Series X, but it's still $100 more than the Xbox Series S. Now, I think that's a good point, good price point for PlayStation if that's the case. Tomorrow we should know, hopefully we should know. But being at $449 is actually a pretty good incentive to pick that up over the Xbox X. However, the $399 version compared to the $299 version, that's where the big difference is. People who are looking to save money just might bite the bullet and buy a Xbox Series S. It actually might sound more than anticipated because Sony is having production issues. So when it comes to this holiday season, not just casual gamers, but hardcore gamers might feel frustrated when they cannot buy or find a PlayStation 5 and just might settle for the Xbox Series S. And the reason why I say S is because it's only $299. If you're a hardcore PlayStation fan and you can't find a PlayStation 5 this holiday season, then you just might want to jump in for $299 and save yourself the extra $200 towards the PlayStation 5 when it comes when it becomes readily available. So you'll still have a system to last you for about four or five months for $299 playing next gen games, jumping into the games that maybe you didn't play, Xbox games and just wait it out or the casuals they go to the store hey we're out of playstation 5s and they're gonna be like well can the xbox series s play madden yeah i can play madden can i play call of duty yeah i can play call of duty can i play this or that yeah i can play this or that so they're gonna end up picking it up and save money and if that happens they're never gonna go back to playstation not the casuals now the hardcore gamers yeah they might just wait it out either they'll get up Xbox Series S or X if they want to go into the deep end and just wait out the PlayStation. That's the way that I see it. Now, one thing that the PlayStation 5 does have going for it is the damn advertising. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this commercial, but it is damn good. Now, a lot of this is obviously not gameplay. A lot of this is CG with real life mixed in to make it seem like this is a PlayStation 5. And even though it's false advertisement in a sense, it's smart advertisement because the casuals are going to flock to the PlayStation 5 thinking their games are going to look like this. And even though their games won't look like this and the PlayStation 5 won't deliver these type of graphics, it doesn't matter. Because the casual gamer is going to pick up Call of Duty. They're going to pick up Madden. They're going to pick up FIFA. They're going to pick up these games that don't necessarily take advantage of the console's power. The reskins of last old generation game so even if they look just a little bit better to them it's gonna blow their mind so xbox needs to wake up when it comes to advertising yes they've been advertising game pass yes everybody knows it's a great deal so they should advertise game pass for the xbox series s but when it comes to the xbox series x they need to go all out like playstation does even if it's misleading you do it to mislead the casuals because hardcore gamers like you and i know that this stuff is not real but the average consumer doesn't, so that is smart. But in the end, this advertisement won't help if you can't find the PlayStation 5 on store shelves. So bottom line, PlayStation being short during this holiday season is only gonna help Microsoft 
and the Xbox Series S. Now these prices, $399 and $449 are not final. There were uh, speculation by analysts who, who broke the news about this uh, production issues. Tomorrow we should know the price. Now I'm thinking they're going to do $399, $499. I don't think they're going to be able to outmatch Xbox when it comes to price. Not only because Sony is not as rich as Microsoft, but because I think they feel that the PlayStation 5 compared to the Xbox, they feel that people are gonna lean towards the PlayStation just because it has a base, just because it pretty much ruled last generation. And I think they're arrogant. <laughs> just the way they were with the PlayStation 3, just the way Xbox was with the Xbox One. So we'll see how that ends out. But as of right now, it is rumored that the PlayStation will cost $399, $449 and is having production issues. And in the end, this is going to help Microsoft. It's going to help push the Series S, especially because you won't be able to get your hands on the PlayStation 5. Now that's going to do it for this episode. Remember, when she is the fan and you're at the store and you can't find your PlayStation 5, run. Mm-hmm.